So now we're taking a look at high availability architecture, also known as HA. Um, and this is the ability for a system to remain available, okay? And so what we need to do is we need to think about what could cause a service to become unavailable and the solution we need to implement in order to ensure high availability. So starting with number one, uh, we're, we're dealing with the scenario where when an availability zone becomes unavailable. Now remember, an AZ is just a data center, so you can imagine a data center uh, uh, becoming flooded for some reason, and so now all the servers there uh, are not operational. So what would you need to do? Well, you would need to have EC2 instances in another data center, okay? And so how would you route traffic from one AZ to another? Well, that's uh, where we will use an elastic load bouncer, so that, that way we can be multi-AZ. Now, um, what would happen if two AZs went out? Well, then you'd need a third one. And a lot of enterprises uh, have this as a minimum requirement. We have to be running at least in three AZs, okay? Moving on to our next scenario, what happens when a region becomes unavailable? So let's say uh, there is a meteor strike. It's a very unlikely scenario, but um, we need a scenario which would take out an entire region, all the data centers in that geographical location. And so what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, instances running in another region. So how would you facilitate the routing of traffic from one region to another? That's going to be Route 53, okay? Uh, so that's the solution there. Now, what happens when you have a web application that becomes unresponsive because of too much traffic, all right? So if you're having too much traffic uh, coming to your platform, well, then you're probably going to need more EC2 instances to handle the demand. And that's where we're going to use auto scaling groups, which have the ability to um, uh, scale based on the amount of traffic that's coming in. And so now what happens if we have an instance that becomes unavailable because there's an instance failure? So something with the hardware or the virtual software is failing, and so it's no longer healthy. Uh, well, again, that's where we can have auto scaling groups because we can say we, we will set the minimum amount of instances. So let's say we have to have always three running to handle the load at minimum. Uh, and if one fails, then it's going to spin up another one. And also, of course, ELB would route traffic to other instances and other AZ. So we have high availability. Um, and now we have our last scenario here. So uh, what happens when a web application becomes unresponsive due to distance in geographical location? So let's say someone's accessing uh, our web application from Asia and we are in North America and the, the distance is causing unavailability. Well, we have a couple options here. We can use a CloudFront. And so CloudFront could cache our static content or even our dynamic content to some degree so that there's, there's content nearby to that uh, user um, which give them back availability, or we could just be running um, our our content, or sorry, our servers in another region that's nearby, and we'd use Route 53's uh, routing policy for um, geo uh, geolocation. To uh, so it, it so if we have servers that are in Asia, that it's going to route traffic to that uh, those servers. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, the rundown for high availability.